Hi, today we're going to learn about chicken. Hello everybody and welcome back to LG's Hen House. Today I'm going to be making a video about the Polish chicken breed. I'm going to talk about their egg production, history, personalities, and a little bit more. Again, I'm by no means an expert. I just do a lot of research on the breed and I talk about stuff based off of the chickens that I have within my own flock. So please sit back and enjoy this video. Although the Polish was once known for its egg production, it is now an ornamental chicken. Both the rooster and hens are showstoppers. This is a chicken that will leave an impression on everyone that sees it. Many people choose to show this breed at county or even state fairs. And being that it is a docile bird, it is easy for kids to show them as well. The Polish was admitted into the American Poultry Association in the year 1874. The history of the Polish is a little unclear. Polish chickens are not from Poland, what I had previously thought, but after doing some research on them, it is said that they are from the Netherlands where pictures are found dating back to the 15th century. The name Polish may have come from the old Dutch word pol, meaning large head. The Polish chicken traveled from Europe to England in the 1700s and then to the United States in the 1830s and 40s. It was imported as a terrific egg laying chicken until it was shown up by the leghorn. After this, the Polish was mainly known for its looks, and people took interest in breeding it just for the looks and not necessarily the egg laying capabilities. As a result, it is no longer known as a layer chicken breed and why the number of eggs per year varies so much from flock to flock. Depending on the bloodlines, if the breeder bred for looks or for egg production. The chicken comes in both standard and bantam sized. The standard Polish cock is about 6 pounds and the hen is 4.5 pounds. Polish come in many colors. Some of the APA recognized colors include black crested white, blue, buff laced, golden, silver laced, white crested blue, and many, many more. Being such a showy chicken, many breeders have made this breed in so many varieties. What can I say about this chicken's appearance? It is a showstopper. They have a crazy top hat that is the crest of feathers on the head. They have a small V-shaped comb that is sometimes hard to see because of the top hat. They also have red wattles and white earlobes. If you are looking for a chicken that will give you plenty of eggs, this may not be the chicken for you. Though it was once a great layer, the Polish was bred away from it. Saying how many eggs per year you will get from a Polish hen, it really depends on how it was bred. You could get about 150 to 200 medium white eggs per year. It is also unlikely for the hens to go broody either. She just really shines in the showroom and loves to be talked about. The normal lifespan for Polish is around 8 years and could be longer depending on how you care for them. Polish are overall very gentle natured. Unfortunately, because of their large head of feathers, they often do not see you, other chickens, or predators coming up to them until you are right in front of them, catching them off guard and startling them. So as a precaution, when you approach a Polish, it is a good idea to talk to them to avoid scaring them. Other chicken breeds that are more aggressive will often, but not always, pick on the Polish, pecking out the head feathers or just being mean because they are so gentle natured, often leaving them at the bottom of the pecking order. Like I mentioned before, they are so much more prone to predator attacks because they don't see them coming up. So if you plan to free range them, be aware and keep a close eye. They are not the best in cold weather climate locations either. The feathers tend to fall into the water and can freeze, so that is another thing to look out for. Although the beautiful head of feathers can give them many issues, 
It is what makes them so memorable and desired. If you are looking for a unique chicken, this is definitely one you may want to look into getting. I personally have four in my flock, all of them different ages, and I absolutely love watching them peck around the yard and seeing the feathers shake around. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions at all, please leave a comment. I'll get back to you as soon as possible. If I got anything wrong, please let me know. I wanna know if I'm getting things like mixed up within my research. Please hit that like button, hit subscribe. It'd mean a lot to me. I really enjoy making these videos. I love researching about the breeds that I have within my flock. And again, thank you so much.